Hey guys, it's Corey from Laboratory and today we're going to start our biggest project to date. It's the $200 DIY full size arcade machine. Welcome back guys. So you've seen behind me here, I've written down a list of all the stuff we'll need to build this arcade machine for under $200. The first thing we'll need to buy is a TV screen. Now I ended up using a 32 inch Samsung second hand screen and that set me back a total of $50. Now the TV itself is perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. It works fine, no scratches. To buy a new they're 300, but to get it for 50, you know, why wouldn't you get a second hand one for this type of scenario? The next thing I bought was some arcade controls. Now these come with a little microcontroller that changes the analog signals because they're just gonna ship out push buttons and a joystick that just has switches on it and it's gonna convert it into a USB input. So they come with USB controllers. Now I got two lots, so I've got six buttons plus a joystick times two and then also a start and select button times two for both the players. And that set me back a total of $50. Now, the reason why it cost me a little bit more was because I ended up finding a second-hand Pack 2 controller and these are really good because you can reassign buttons to how you wish. So, if you wanted to reroute buttons for a keyboard so you could program the Raspberry Pi without having to plug in a keyboard, you can. While other microcontrollers may not let you do this. Now, the third thing we need to buy is a Raspberry Pi. Now, the Raspberry Pi is the brains behind everything here. So the Raspberry Pi, you do need to order as well an SD card. Now the SD card, I chose 32 gigabyte just because it seemed value for money and to keep things under the build cost, that's pretty much all I could allow for anyway. But that buy price was around the $40 mark. We should put a dollar sign there too. Now the final thing you guys will need to buy are some MDF panels and screws for the cabinet. Now we ended up deciding to use 16mm MDF because it was a bit thicker and we thought it'd be a bit structurally stronger. We ended up buying three lots of 1800 by 900 by 16 mil panels, and that was for the front, back, and top. And then we had two 600 by 1800 by 16 mil panels for the sides, and they worked out perfectly. And for that, we got minimal wastage. But depending on how big you guys design your cabinet, will be how big a sheets you guys need. So that set us back $50. Now for the stuff that I haven't allowed for in this build, we've got a HDMI lead, because generally people have tons of these lying around. A uh, four game power board, again, you don't need to have this, but it was just nice having one power lead coming out the back, and we'll have everything plugging in inside the machine, rather than having all the leads coming out, and you're seeing three or four cables out the back. Also, I haven't allowed for a two and a half amp phone charger with a micro USB lead. Now I've had tons of phones throughout the years and I've got ton of the, I've got so many of these chargers at home that I don't know what to do with them. So I am going to be buying another one for this project and most people probably have spare ones too. The only thing you need to make note of is the 2.5 amps. It does help if you get the 2.5 amps. It is the maximum input to a Raspberry Pi. If you go more it doesn't make a difference but going under, if you're using the more higher power games, you might have power issues because it's just not getting enough power to run the GPU, the CPU, and the USB controllers and what you, whatever you guys are plugging into it. Uh, the last thing on my list here for the stuff I'm not including is power tools. Now the power tools, I'm assuming you guys have got them or have got access to them. You don't need too many. We'll probably end up using a couple, maybe a circular saw, a drill, a jigsaw. You know, that's probably all we're gonna need. And then just your general other tools, so levels and things like that. So we're assuming you guys have got all those already. That's it for this video. We've covered everything you guys are gonna to need to build the Labcade Arcade Machine. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching and we'll catch you next time.